Future Live in studio event, y'all. Right here on Hip Hop Nation, man, making sure we bring y'all into the weekend. Yeah, it's Thursday, but we bring y'all into the weekend the right way, man. Still is on the one and twos. We got Brooklyn in the building. Joey Badass is here. What's poppin', my G? Ain't shit, man. Uh, Good to see you, man. Feeling real good. Real good. It's been a real busy week for me, but, um, you know, we out here. No doubt. I had to come check my brother, my big bro, Torre, man. We out here, Hip Hop Nation. All my people out there, peace to the world. That's what it is, man. The last time you were on the show, um, I think it was the day your album dropped. It was. It was the day before the it money was. dropped. Let me fix this for you. Because I had my album jacket on and shit. <laughs> my album, like my album mouth, my birthday outfit and shit. Absolutely. It was your birthday. It was yeah. your album release. How, how much is the life of Joey Badass changed since that moment, man? Well, you know, um, niggas ain't fronting on me no more. You feel me? <laughs> important. That That's very important. Did my numbers. You know what I'm saying? Now I start getting those calls and, you know, all of those opportunities that I wanted and shit that I've been, um, you know, for example, like the Coachella stage and shit Crazy. like that. I've been wanting that for a minute. Now I got that. I'm doing that and uh, a whole lot more shit. A whole no lot more shit. I mean, you was no you was no stranger to performing and getting a chance to rock and do festivals, man. But obviously, right. those bigger looks, you know, the font in your name changes, the point. You feel me? You know I mean? Main stage not, at Coachella right. this year. How do you prepare for that, man? Um, Well, for like the festival stages. Yeah, for and Coachella. All um, shit. Yeah, that's a good question because I'm still in preparation <laughs> mode for that shit. I mean, I just know I'm going to rip that shit. You know, I'm going to give 120% of my energy into that show. And yeah, you know, it's just going to be like, you know, not like every other show, but as far as, you know, my energy and just my confidence. Yeah, that that's pretty much going to be the same. No doubt. I'm trying no to doubt. bring the band out for the first time. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, they beat the band on the Coachella stage. That's, you know that's the saying? right place to do it. Too. Yeah, I just want to do it right, though. You know what I'm saying? Every song... Don't necessarily need the band And that's what I'm learning as I go So I'm just trying to really make it all make sense True sure, indeed I, I yeah. can imagine what your stage show is like now For you just, you know, being able to get your reps in And do and do so many joints Now you just said your confidence um, I remember you said, you know, the first time you did Um the first time you did Fallon, right? You yeah. was you wasn't you wasn't confident. You was yeah. looking down. You couldn't wait yeah. to do it again. Yeah. And now you getting all this validation. You know what I'm saying? You you touching these stages. You know they respecting what you're doing on TV and all of that. Man, I mean, what is that? What does that feel like? You know what I'm saying? Just being a dude coming from Brooklyn and, and really being the underdog. Right. I mean, you know, for me, it was more like a coming of age. You know, I came into this game when I was 17, and you know, like I was telling a. Uh, a couple of my um my homies like you know just this week as i got older you know i realized the things that was important for example like you know building relationships networking you know when i was a younger a younger gun you know what i'm saying <laughs> i couldn't really understand those things like for example i went to germany the first time and i was just like yo i'm in germany like maybe i should take this guy's contact who could help me out next time i come in right i wasn't thinking of shit like right. that you know what i'm saying i wasn't yeah, thinking about keeping bridges strong and all that shit. So, you know, now as an older dude and all that, I'm way more wiser. And, yeah, it's funny, too, because I see a lot of young cats, like, you know, young rappers in the game now. And it's like, yo, I could tell, like, yo, that's year one for him. All right. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Because right. I, I see them doing the same shit that I used to mm -hmm. do, moving the same way I used to move. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oblivious. Right. Uh, almost. Yeah. Experience, man. Experience is, is, is the best teacher. And, of course, you know, I think the OGs could always do their part to try to teach the younger guys to try to guide them and give them some of that info. Right. A lot of cats don't want to listen anyway, man. So sometimes you got to you gotta go through your growing pain and living and learning and all of that. Yeah. Joey Badass is here. We want to hear from y'all. 877 hip hop is the number. We're going to get into a performance. We're going to chop it up. You got yeah. some new records we're going to talk about. You yeah. got some new things happening in his life too, man. Taking it from the musical stage to getting on that small screen. So we definitely got to chop it up about that. 877 yeah. is the number. Tweet us. Let us know you tuned in, baby. It's Hip Hop Nation. And um, Nick Caution just dropped his debut project, the Sky's the Limit. Literally like three weeks ago. Crazy. Um, yeah, y'all could go get that right now too. That project is insane. Fire. He I got two it. beautiful music videos out for it too. Nick is coming. He's coming up and he's killing shit too, man. No doubt, man. Shout out to the whole era, man. You guys got such a such a solid following and fan base, man. I'm not surprised Kirk did what he did. Yeah. Now, on on the independent side, man, is that still, you know, your priority, your goal to keep it that way and build it up the way you want to? Um, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Especially here at this point with how far we've come. It's like, why would we turn around now and go the other path? Especially like, you know, when I meet a lot of these older artists in the game, you know, they always tell me like, yo, 
I wish I did it the way you did it. And that tells me like, damn, like, right. this is this brother telling me this. Like, damn, I look up to this brother, you right. feel me? And I won't even say no names to, you know, put it out there. But it's like, yeah, yeah, but I it appreciate is, it is, that, right. you feel me? It's like, word, that shit makes me realize, okay, I'm on the right path. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Even though it's moving a little slower, mm -hmm. the long run is going to be Absolutely. much greater. That's what you got to keep your eyes on the prize, the longevity. Yeah. Some people run and try to grab a bag right now. Yeah. And when what that bag run out. It's a marathon, not a, not a, not yeah, a, yeah, not a yeah, sprint. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, man. Wise words from a decent man. Hey, Joey man, Badass. I'm feeling it, man. Joey you know what Badass man? is here. Now, we're going to get into a performance, man. Like I said, Joey got some new records. We're still going to chop it up about the TV show and all that. 877 Hip hop is the number we want to hear from y'all. We're gonna spend some more joints. We're gonna come back. We're gonna let Joey call do in. what he does best. Call and in, call spit in, that call joint, in. man. Holla at us. We rocking. It's a live in studio event, y'all. That energy on that record is so crazy, man. Shout out to Ferg. Shout out to that whole ASAP mob. Big fan of what they doing, man. Also a big fan of Pro Era and what they doing. And we got Brooklyn's own Joey Badass joining the tour today. Yeah. What up, brother? Feeling good, man. Shout out to my brother Fergie Ferg, though, man. No That's doubt. my motherfucking bro, man. No All doubt. my ASAP mob niggas. Shout out to my man's 12E. Shout out to my brother's Flapper the Zombies. Just hit the road. If you in Connecticut, make sure y'all go to their show tonight. And act like you know what it is. Yeah, they man. did the damn thing, man. They're number one on iTunes and all that. It's a nice, it's a nice movement coming from the tri-state area, the city. It's the Beast Coast. Yeah, Empire, the music, man. the music is it's definitely doing what it does. Now you got this joint called Brooklyn Zone, man. Crazy record, man. Talk to me just a little bit about it, how it came about. Um, I mean, pretty much how all me and Static Select the records come about, you know, just vibing. You know, he's always, uh, he came through one night, 2 a.m., stupid drunk. I was about to say, drunk, <laughs> like, ordering food. Yeah. That's yeah, static. Yeah, you know. Well, actually, with that was that was ready. With this record, um, he was playing, a, he, had, he had Snapchatted it, the beat, okay. when he just made the beat. And, like, he Snapchatted it, and then, like, I hit him two days later, like, yo, what was that beat you was playing <laughs> it was stuck on Snapchat? I was like, yo, that shit was fire, bro. Like, send that to me. He was like, yo, which one, which one? Took him a little minute to figure it out. But yeah, because the shit was deleted it. after two days. He yeah, probably couldn't figure yeah, it out. Yeah, exactly. He was like, which one? I was like, I don't know. It sounded like some Jay Dillon meat tribe called question, and I need it. And then, um, you know, he sent it over, and then, you know, I just recorded it right in my home studio. Crazy, crazy. Yeah. Before we get into it, man, since you did, you know, allude to Dilla Rest in Peace and Tribe Called Quest, man, you know, um, just being from the East Coast, the Beast Coast, and, and, and you know, coming up in the city, man, what what did a Tribe Called Quest mean to you, man, as a, as a fan of hip-hop? I mean, you know, Tribe Called Quest and, you know, many other acts, you know, that came out of New York in that time pretty much, you know, painted like a lot of our pictures, you know, a lot of our demeanors, just, you know, the the, the, the culture, like, you know, uh, just walking through New York, you know, the sounds that you feel is of, 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 of uh, you know, the music that, that they already put forth and that they already laid out. Like, you know, anytime I'm cruising through New York City streets, I'm on my relax, it's so good, present to right them. Out. You right feel out. me? Like, yeah, so, I mean, rest in peace yeah. to the big homie, sure. the OG, Definitely the legend, Fife. Fife Dog. It's crazy because, um, you know, the night that he passed, I guess it must have been, like, literally an hour before I was on the phone with Q-Tip. Wow. And, you know, because um, it's funny. Well, it's not funny, but it's just, you know, crazy. Ironic, right. It coincidental. Um. I was calling him. I called him because we was looking for the Check the Rhyme video. Mm -hmm. They removed it from YouTube. I was looking for it because, you know, the laundry mat scene mm -hmm. when they were standing mm -hmm. on top of that, yeah, I yeah. wanted to use it as a reference for my Brooklyn Zone video. Okay. So I'm like, yo, Tip, where the video at? They took it off YouTube and shit. He was like, yeah, you know how them labels go and shit. Crazy. And then we just started talking about, you know, making music in the future and then, like, you know, it, it, it was nothing Man. but excitement in his voice. He was in the studio, you know, and we were just vibing. And then, like, literally a couple hours later, I got the news. I'm like, yo, that's, that's wild. crazy. That's wild. Crazy. That's, that's definitely wild, man. Like like we said, man, rest in peace to fight, fan. You know we're going to keep rocking it and keep that memory and that legacy alive. <laughs> it's a live in-studio event, y'all. Live in studio right here on Hip Hop Nation, straight hip hop hits, period. I go by the name of Tor Ray. The show is the tour guy. Still is holding down the music. And Joey Badass just try to destroy the microphones in here, man. You trying to make these people charge me, you know what I mean, out my damn paycheck the way you burn down the mics, my G. <laughs> Crazy performance, man. So we got an album coming? What's going on? Um, We got a couple projects in the works. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um. Right now, this year, I'm really focused to step up to the plate as an executive, you know what I'm saying, with this Pro Ever label. I really want to get my guys on the map, Kirk and Nick, 
You know what I'm saying? It's up right now. CJ Fly, a is next. Um, me, personally, I will be dropping way more new music soon. I feel like I haven't given my fans enough free, loose content. Mm. So more of that is on the way. You know, Ready and Brooklyn Zone with just warm-ups. Crazy, yeah. crazy. That's a, that's a good way to warm them up, man, and yeah. get them ready. Now, you perform both of the joints. The Ready record is crazy. The Brooklyn Zone is a crazy record. Um, one of those records Shout out to little, Static Selected, too. Shout, the, shout out to yeah, Static, yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. He, made, he cooked both of them shit up. <laughs> one of those oh, records yeah. a little more controversial than than you've had in the past, man. The, the right. line um, on the joint, on the Ready joint, uh, 80-20 split, do the about, math. About Kirk Knight numbers, nigga Kirk, right? Yeah, just yeah. outsold Troy Ave, man. Yeah. So, I mean, when you write in that, you, you got to understand, you got a lot know, of rappers like, he sold out to. He, he, <laughs> he outsold a lot out. of rappers. Yeah. Shit, Cardi B just outsold a lot of rappers. You saw that? Really? Shit? I, Yo, I was said. looking at the sound scan. It wasn't a gang, but it was more than she should have. Right, right, she, right. She hit the billboard. Yeah. I'm How looking much she at. Sold? She yeah. sold like 1,100 records. Wow. For that's, Cardi B, for that's Cardi good. B, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's I mean, that's like 500,000. Yeah. <laughs> so, so when you write that line, yeah. you got to understand, you got to know that something is going to come behind yeah, it. repercussions. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So why why did you decide to go out with it? Um, You know, a lot of people don't know that this feud is a little lengthy you okay. know, than now. You know what I'm saying? It's been going on for a little minute. But, um, you know, facts. Facts. Truth hurts. Yeah, niggas. yeah. It's, you know it definitely hurts. Yeah, facts. I mean, shit. Ain't no other way to put it. You feel me? It is what it is. Where where you at with it now? With what? With the the, the controversy, the drama with Troy. Oh, I'm I'm I'm. You see where I'm at? I'm right. really, I'm up here. Doing this is very true. Shows. This you is very me? true. Yeah, yeah, I'm moving. No <laughs> doubt. Yeah, yeah. So. I am mad at that. Yeah, I am mad at that. We moving, man. Hell yeah. No doubt. No doubt. Now we before we right before now. we let you go, man. Speaking of being on fire, being executive, doing the pro everything, man. You moving into the acting space as well? Yeah, I just um landed uh my first acting role. On Mr. Robot, that's that's two. big, man. Yeah. A lot of people love Mr. Robot. Yeah, yeah, that's I, big. I just like you know I, when I got casted, I started watching it. I'm like, yo, this show is crazy. It's like an uh, anonymous, right? You know the hack yeah, group yeah, anonymous. yeah, absolutely. That's like basically what the show is about, and um, yeah, you know, so I can't talk too much about it, but I will be on more than like five episodes. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, <laughs> that's a different type of check. That reoccurring role yeah, check. Yeah. You know what I mean? I ain't mad at that. How did you? How did you get the role? You auditioned for it. Like, how did it come about? Um, audition for it. Yeah, you know, my agency had brought it to the table and it was like, yo, you should uh, audition. And I went up, I got three callbacks on the third one. It was like, yo, you got it. How did you, how did you prepare for that? Um, I didn't. I actually me uh, memorized my lines literally right before I walked up in there. Wow. <laughs> yeah, because I'm a rapper, you know, right, so right, I, right. Could, I, I could remember lines is easy for me, you know Not what I'm saying? So, uh, so fucking tough. To be honest, I do all my auditions, and this is a spoiler, and every any young actor could take this advice. I do all my auditions eating an apple. Word? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Just be well, for the for. For some reason, any auditions I begin to be eating scenes. Okay. Yeah, so I just pick <laughs> that apple. And you know, when you eat and you talk, it's more of a natural flow. It's like, mm. yo, 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 It's a good yo, trick. Yo, yeah, nice yeah, yeah, I'm going to try that like, in yeah. my next audition. Try that. Try that shit. They, Especially so, right, you why you got a scene? bag of apples? Don't worry about it. Just let <laughs> the shit roll. Or bread or some, or some fucking beverage or some shit, you know? No yeah. doubt. Now, was this part of your, your initial plan, you know, what you saw yourself doing moving into the acting yeah. space? A lot of people don't know, but I actually went to high school for screen theater. Oh, you wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so ninth and 10th grade, you know, a lot of my um, schooling was dedicated to drama and learning theater and everything and until I got kicked out for low grades and shit. But I always, um, acting has always been a dream of mine. And, um, you know, once I got to high school, you know, I actually went to my school to pursue acting, but when I got there, it's like where I met all my peers from, you know, my crew today. And I just realized, you know, music was my initial calling. Right. And I always knew... If music popped off, acting would be way more easier. Right. And here I am. That's crazy. That is crazy, man. It's on the USA Network, and you definitely can go on demand and check out the first season, man. We definitely look forward to seeing you in that joint and, and doing a lot more, man. Big things, a lot more music. I'm also, I don't mean to cut you off. No, I'm no, also go. Doing, um, doing lectures now, too. Okay. So I gave my first lecture at uh, NYU. Dope. My second lecture at Harvard. My third one at Columbia what University. What are you lecturing about? Um, I talk How to about grow your dreads? <laughs> uh, well, you know, that, that is, I guess, a little part of it because it is the knowledge. But um, I lecture about my emergence into the music industry, um, you know, my upbringing, how I got on, how I came up. I talk about um, my future endeavors, what I plan to do with, like, you know, the rest of my career. And, yeah, 
Dope, man. That's I like shit for about like an hour. Yeah. yeah That's ill, man. Too. I love I love to yeah. see like we talked about earlier in the interview, man, just the growth and the maturity from the sound of the music to the way you carrying yourself in the interview. Not that you was ever wild or nothing like that, but right. you can just see it's levels to this, man. And I love yeah. when I see artists, you know what I mean, level up and, and get to another space, man. And, and you know, nothing but congratulations and praise and blessings for you and, and everything that Appreciate you're doing, that. man. Yeah, Appreciate yeah, I love that, to see brother. it, man. Guys out here doing it right, getting to it the way they need to get to it. I wish we had more time, man, but an hour is never enough time when we got a guest of this caliber. So you just got to keep coming back, man. Yeah, you know what I mean, sure. maybe we do you a whole know. pro over two hour takeover. Let's do it. So, yeah, you know what I mean? You know what Let's saying? do it. I just we put get it out up there and just freestyle. Yeah, and just go crazy. Yeah, not even perform anything that's out. Just freestyle. Just play beats. Just play beats. Yeah. Hell yeah, we do I'm that. Getting that. I, I that's, had them. I had them ready. Oh yeah, you gotta get in that. That would be lit. We just go cipher. We do the cipher. You know, I had the joints ready too. We just we just running out of time. Oh man, we will make it happen another time. Listen, Joey Badass here. Make sure y'all support him. Um, Brooklyn Zone is that on iTunes right now? It ain't on iTunes yet. It will be by next week though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I Make just sure y'all to, support it when it drops. Yeah. You know what I mean? Officially ready. and, and definitely, iTunes, definitely go get that ready right now. Joey Badass, it's always a privilege, a privilege, a privilege and a pleasure. I always jam with those two words yeah, up. So we gonna get back Come into the music. I'ma stop talking. That sounds crazy. It's Hip Hop Nation.